Hi everybody, welcome to Scotland. It's Wednesday the 22nd of July and it's a bit of a dreary day but we can't complain because we've had a couple of quite nice days. We've had a lovely clear day yesterday. Anyway, we're here to show you something called the Falls of Laura and um, so it's just something a bit unusual that we've not come across before. I know Tony and Cynthia will probably know about this, but and anybody oh, else who's been... It's freezing. It's not that cold. It'll be freezing. We'll, we'll turn it round. We're at a place called Connell, and it's five miles north of Oban. And we're at a place where the lock meets the sea. And there's a bridge over the lock called Connell Bridge and it's here where we get the Falls of Laura, L-O-R-A. And they're not here all the time, um, just at certain times. It just so happens that we're here while there's a spring tide last night and tonight. So I'm going to take you to the bridge, and that's the road bridge that you can see. And at the moment we've got an ebb tide, and from apparently from half past twelve, until half past three this afternoon. This is when the flow is at its best and this is the ebb tide, so all the water's flowing out to the sea. I don't know whether you can see, but it's very, very rough in there and there's actually a canoeist in the distance. Hi everyone. It's now 1.30 and I've just come under the bridge and you can see where the actual falls would be, how it's rough and white. We're actually by a roadside now. Andrew has just pointed out we've just seen a seal that's head is swimming in the foreground from the right to the left downstream. But um, you can see now how, where the rocks are and how it's forming like a little mini waterfall and I presume that's why it gets the name, the Falls of Laura. So this is the ebb tide. Um, we're going to come back later this evening for the flood tide. The, the, they have timetables and this is the blue timetable which is not the most spectacular, next to the most, the, the best is red but the blue ebb tide is at one o'clock this morning and we weren't prepared to come up in the dark and we wouldn't see it. But it's 20 past two now and you can see the rocks are a bit more vis visible than they were We think you can distinctly hear less of a noise than you could before, and certainly downstream, less, um, less of a current. We don't know what we're going to find later this evening. We guess it's just going to be very rough water where the lock water meets the sea. We'll have to wait and see. It's now five past seven and I don't know if you can see, but the sea is now flowing in. It's now an incoming tide and it's going quite a pace, but um, there's nothing to see seaward side of the bridge. So we're going to move over and see where the rocks are at the falls at the other side. So at 10 past 7 I'm looking to the bridge and early this afternoon the, the water was flowing down to the sea from right to left. I don't know if you can see it but now the sea is coming up so it's going from left to right. Where I am actually on at the moment, this afternoon you would have had rapids and that's not there. It's further to the right this time for the flood tide. really strange. 
it's not yet got to the area that it's best apparently so we're going to hang on a little bit and see just looking at little whirlpools that keep happening Well, it's half past eight now and as you can see it's still very misty very foggy very gray and it's actually starting to rain again and we've got midges so we're going to leave you uh it's much the same up, up up there as it was just thought it's just something a little different that uh, we'd never come across and we quite enjoyed just having a look and uh, as i say it's a spring tide so it's quite high and just down at the edge of the water here is where we actually stood this afternoon so uh, we'll leave that with you. Take care.